first of all, I want to make a presentation. I want to present Coach Dow with the game ball. Yeah. Listen, man. Tonight's what our program's all about. I want you to I want you to think about it and let it sink in deep. This is the reason we work in the summertime in January and February in the spring. This is the, way, the reason we push you beyond what you think you can do to experience moments like this. Ain't no easy way in life, and it wasn't easy out there tonight, but you were prepared for the task at hand. Every one of you players, I mean, ain't no way, ain't no way, for, I, ain't, I ain't smart enough to tell you how I feel about you. I mean, and, and because, I mean, it's family, every one of you, I mean, you know it. Sure, I'd like to be 12, 11 and old and, you know, no. but I'm gonna tell you something. I wouldn't swamp this year for any year that I've been at Auburn. I wouldn't swamp it, men, because I've watched you struggle and I watched you wrestle with them angels and, 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 and I, but I watched you grow up and become men. I watched you become men. It's time, baby. <laughs> Do you remember me standing right here and telling you when you became one that you'd know it? I mean, you know it now. It don't make any difference who's carrying the ball. It don't make any difference who's catching it, who's rushing the pass, or who's making the tackles, as long as you've got a blue jersey on. started for Alabama and Auburn. Auburn has won the toss and elected to receive. So Philip Doyle will kick, standing at the goal line. For Auburn is Alexander Wright. Wright from the five. Oh, he's hammered at the 32-yard line. Lorenzo Ward on the tackle. Stacy Danley, number 32, will be the tailback. He will alternate today with James Joseph and Darrell Williams. Right away, slack pass, caught! Greg Taylor and a first down for Auburn. A gain of 12. Dan Auburn. Slack. A gain of six to Alexander Wright. Make a case for why it's 
being our most valuable player this year. Third and five for the Tigers. Looking for Alexander Wright. Complete. on the pass to Alexander Wright. And Larry Blakely, the offensive coordinator of Auburn, said we are going to throw the ball six times deep to Alexander Wright today. He has that kind of speed. An all-American track man here at Auburn and becoming more and more comfortable as a receiver. And Pat Dodd. His team second and goal from the seventh. Stacey Danley, just short. This is where you want to run him when you get down inside the 10 yard line. And he nearly brings this one in. The knee was down, good call, just short of the goal line. And goal from the one, James Joseph comes in, the extra tight end is Autry. Touchdown, Auburn.
Stacy. And down he goes. Lamar Rogers wraps him up. People have been watching Alabama offenses for a long time. They think highly of Homer Smith. Third and a long one. Great play action fake by Hollingsworth. Also 14-10, your team on top, but the importance of this game, the significance. Auburn people today made a journey they never thought they'd make in their lifetime. And that's what means the most. Our people came home, came to Mecca, and then they the promised land. And we may not win the game, but we're equal. For the first time in 50 years, we're equal. We dictate the terms where we play our home game. Third quarter, Auburn leading Alabama 14-10 the five-yard step off a good kick by Von Weil Jones takes it from the goal line and is tripped by Alex Thomas at the 23-yard line straight 100-yard games second and seven here comes the rush Hollingsworth gets it away incomplete Quint Riggins was coming in on Hollingsworth First and ten, Hollingsworth the Turner. Defender slipped momentarily. Turner fumbled the football. Recovered by Auburn. Dennis Wallace on the recovery. Well, what a play for
bumped out of bounds, you're allowed to come in back to the field. Alex Strong is the lone setback on a wing is Joseph. Slack will tuck it under. And he gets to the five, which is a yard short of the first down. Fourth and one. Well, with fourth and a long yard from the five-yard line, it was either go for the touchdown or go for the win. And they went with the win. Win Lyle, that is. The place kicker, Win Lyle. So he'll <laughs> attempt a 22-yard attempt to make the difference now seven for the Auburn Tigers here in the third quarter. Dickinson will hold. Hudson will snap. Remember the block by Thomas Rayom against Kent State a few weeks ago. Lyle boots it through. 14 of 17 on the year. Homegrown product from Auburn, Alabama, and a senior. And it's now 17-10. Green Bay and Tampa Bay, the first game of the season. Two teams coming on. Especially Green Bay now. Here's Jelks on the return. Ooh. Boy, is he hit. This Auburn special teams coverage, including Al Nash for the second time today. Backing up the tide, it's the 16-yard line. Run now, baby! Woo! Flags are down. Stacy has dropped for a yard loss by Lamar Rogers. Folks, I can't tell you how loud it is here. I have been into a lot of stadiums, but it is a roar, and it has been all game. Back under center. Fake. And now incomplete. Intended for Russell. Wiley on the coverage. Owen Slasic, another man was in the area. Over now at the Alabama 47-yard line. Black to right, and another first down. You know, football has not been real easy for Alexander. State punt. Lyle from dead center on the field. 31 yard attempt. He nails it. It's 20 
seven ten Auburn over second ranked Alabama. Alabama driving. Now the lob to battle. He caught it. Touchdown. And nine. Well, Pat, here you go. The pass caught and a first down. Alexander Wright. And you are right on the money. This to stay alive. And it's good. 27 20. Auburn with 149 to go. And Alabama with all three timeouts left. Ball was caught and paired after the second bounce. I thought it was number 15. Auburn has the football. Danley. Oh. And he went out of bounds, but picked up big yardage all the way to the 42 yard line, but he did stop the clock. Danley again. And a first down. First and ten, Auburn. Danley. A brilliant run to the 20 yard line. A gain of 14, and Alabama now calls its second timeout and is left with only one. You could just run the clock out. It's, uh, it was a silly call, actually. So now, when Lyle comes in for a 34-yard attempt, should he miss it, Alabama will have the football and a chance to drive it with just seconds remaining. Lyle's kick. It's good. That'll do it. The amount of $1,000 will be donated by Chevrolet to each school's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. Hollingsworth throws it away. I think it's a big F. That's going to be a very tough game for Notre Dame. Here's Hollingsworth now. Lobbing it up in Wallace with the interception. Curry comes in with 10 wins, no losses, but still now walks away with his first loss of the year and has not beaten Auburn. The Auburn Tigers have done it. They've waited for this series to one day come to their home soil. They win it 30 to 20 over Alabama. That's the first thing Coach Bryant said to me when he got, when I saw him. When I came to Auburn in 81, he said, you don't want to take the game to Auburn. I said, we don't bring it to Auburn. He said, well, we got a contract through 88. I said, we play 89 in Auburn. <laughs> It just made sense for us to do it, and it was our home game. We could play it where we wanted to play it. Winning the game wasn't near as important as playing Alabama and Auburn. The score of the game, I mean, you're going to play a game every year, but it won't ever be but one first time. And uh, that was big. I'm not believing what I just looked at on the screen. That was amazing. I'm going to tell you something. You know, you, you, there's some things about life that you just, you can't, but uh, you know, the, the, it was 50, it's been 50 years since since uh, since uh, there was three champions in the Southeastern Conference. The last year was 1939. Our stadium is 50 years old. 
I'm 50 years old, and I just looked at the screen, and the score was 30 to 20, a total of 50. That is, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. You know, maybe, maybe Alabama didn't have a chance after all when they when they. And came. Auburn played in the Cotton Bowl and the Sugar Bowl's 50th anniversaries. Well, maybe 50 is supposed to be a special year. I hope, but it has been a great year for for our football team and and. Uh, and the things that this football team is going through, I talked about it a little bit in the dressing room, but it was, it's been one of the most uh, satisfying years that I've ever been. And I know I got, you know, I got a kick out of, you know, through the course of year fussing with our people a little bit about, you know, the way they, the way they got on our team. And but they brought it and, home yesterday. Well, I want to, yesterday is, is uh, I've been coaching the rest of my life, and I won't ever witness anything like yesterday. And. Uh, Anybody that's on that field that uh, was a player from Auburn or a player from Alabama, and uh, you know you can talk about a home field advantage if you want to, but uh, what happened yesterday at Auburn lifted our players at uh, another level, and, and there's no question that our fans had a lot to do with that coming to the ball game yesterday. Well, with four in the row against Bama, three conference championships. Could make history if we win the bowl game. I love these guys and I kept faith. I never thought about losing the whole way. None of us had ever seen anything like the Tiger Walk today, and I think the fans had as much to do with it as anything. That was remarkable. Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, you know, we got down there and had to walk single file through the street, and uh, when we came in, we just said, it's over. There's, you know, we're going to win this thing. So somehow, some way, these people want it so bad. We, you know, we knew like the Georgia game, we knew that'd be a key because Alabama was, uh, you know, had so many sacks and they did so many things to rush the passer. And, uh, you know, we knew or everybody felt like if we could give Reggie time that, that he would make things happen for us. And, and he did. Just glad to end out my career and like this and uh, it makes this whole season worthwhile. Under the circumstances, that last one was about as big as any of them. Uh, yeah, it was, put the game away and, uh, you know, I had to. That was 10 points and uh, pretty much put them away.